afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City of LaPorte Senior Services Cooking 101. Today uh, we're cooking potato soup. There is more than one way to cook potato soup. We're going to do it my way. The recipe here calls for one slice bacon, one half cup chopped onion, one garlic clove, one cup of low sodium chicken broth, which we're going to omit, uh, one medium russet potato, which I'm going to do too because I'm cooking it for me. Then we gotta cut, chop it up and cube it. One and a half, one and a half, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, uh, one fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper, one cup of milk, you know, two percent whole milk, half and half, whatever. I'm using canned milk. And let's see where we are. I'm not gonna do the all-purpose flour, that's just to thicken it. If you let your potatoes cook long enough, they'll do it themselves. Down here, one fourth cup of spread of cheese for the end. If you want cheese, fine. If you don't, that's great. All right, so let me get it together. I'm going to peel my potato with a very, very, very not sharp knife. Potato peelers work for some people. I don't use them because they don't work for me. A paring knife usually works well. Chop the potato up. It's kind of dark inside I don't want. It works when you're chopping up anything to kind of keep your your fingers pulled like this so you're just going down by your knuckles so you're not cutting the ends of your fingers. Now that you've got your potatoes all you know, cut up in nice chunks, if you want them real thick, real thick chunks, cut them this big, cut them small, however you want to cut them. Let's go ahead and put some water on them and get them to boil. Just enough water to just barely cover them, turn it on real high, and get it to a rolling boil, okay? And we're rolling boil in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and saute some onions and garlic, just to kind of get it more slowly done and then throw it in there and let it cook with it. I have three garlic cloves instead of one. I have a fourth of a cup of onions. I'm gonna saute them in the extra virgin olive oil just for a few minutes until they're translucent. measured them, these two little containers here is a fourth of a cup of onions. There, I can get my garlic here. I'm gonna wait a minute for the garlic because we don't want it to burn. We want our onions to get a little translucent before we put the garlic in there. Get it going in a minute. Okay. Now the bacon that I'm using is bacon bits. They're the real bacon bits from Kroger's in a little bag. However you want it, you can do your own bacon, you know, but that's just as simple and easy. Just grab it, open it up, throw it in there, and it's just as good. Okay? A little salt and pepper. Matter of fact, I'm gonna salt it while I'm cooking it. Then we'll add a little bit more flavor after we put it in the milk. And it says kosher salt. I'm gonna use this Himalayan salt, the pink Himalayan salt. It's really got a good flavor, okay? There. there we are. Alright. Here we go. See? Our onions are cooking here. Get down a little bit. That's our three garlic garlic cloves minced. Onions a little translucent. If you wanted to, you could take your bake, bacon bits, put them in here, and they would cook up and get tender before you throw them in your soup. A little trick that I know that I do is when I'm like sauteing, even um, say spinach, 
if I want sauteed spinach, I'll start with my garlic and my onions and my uh, extra, bullets, extra virgin olive oil and some soy sauce. Get it going and then throw my bacon bits in there and then throw the, uh, the spinach in there and it really makes a good flavor. All right, let's turn this off, move it to the back for a few minutes until our potatoes get boil in here. It'll take about, oh, 15, 20 minutes. Depends on how hard of a boil you're boiling. You want them done, or you take a fork and poke them and it'll come off. It'll take just a few minutes. Now I'm going to put my bacon bits that I brought from the house. Like I said, you can buy them at Kroger's. They're real bacon bits. Drop them in there, let them boil in just a minute. And if you want to, save some or put on top after it's all done. A lot of people like chives on top, cheese on top, whatever. I just like plain old ordinary potato soup. All right. I'm going to take our onions and our garlic that we sauteed. And we're going to put this in here. There we are. I'll start up just a little bit here. <coughs> Depending on how much uh, water and potatoes you have as to how much milk you would use. Uh, I have a half a cup. If you have more water, more potatoes, add more milk. Okay? Get it all creamy here. There we are. Let it boil just a second while I get some more pepper. <clears throat> and I'll probably sneeze again. That's okay. About a half a teaspoon. Right there. A little bit more of the salt. Not much, just a little. Because each individual will salt it to taste. Okay. And stir it up. And now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, watching and cooking 101 with me. Um, my name is Deborah Kuykendall. I work for the Seagull Port Parks and Recreation Senior Services. I look forward to seeing you next time for our next Cooking 101 class. Thank you very much. Have a good day.